Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad. Let me show you what I got for you today. I am excited to try out some ammo that I've heard about, but I've never actually put my hands on until today. This is the Remington Yellow Jacket 22 LR hollow point ammunition. It is Remington's hyper velocity ammo. The manufacturer's claim is that this stuff is going 1500 feet per second. So it is some hot stuff and we're going to put it to the test. First I'd like to do a chronograph reading on it. We're going to shoot it through our Browning Buckmark pistol and our Ruger 1022. And then we're going to test it for accuracy at 25 yards. And finally we'll do some uh, reactive target testing. First up let's put five shots with the uh, 1022 over the chronograph. Twelve ninety three, twelve forty seven, twelve fifty eight, twelve seventy nine, thirteen oh seven. Now let's take five shots with the buck mark. Hmm. 187, huh? 193. There we go. 1060. 199. 197. Weird. For some reason, we couldn't get the uh, buck mark to give us any good numbers with the chronograph. We only got one, I hope, kind of accurate reading, so. We'll go ahead and crunch these numbers up here and let you know what it is for the Ruger 1022 and the buck mark. Next up we're going to test the yellow jackets at 25 yards with the Ruger 1022. I'm going to do three groups of five shots each. Let's take a look at those groups. Here are our three groups. One, two, three. At 25 yards, they're not the most impressive groups in the world. I'd say they're pretty close to what we've seen in other hypervelocity ammo. Probably more on the less accurate side as far as our hypervelocity loads. At 25 yards with a with a good high quality standard velocity ammunition, these uh, groups would look like essentially just one hole. On this one especially, it was interesting. These two guys look like flyers, and most of the time I blame that on me, but going back on the video, I could definitely hear a different sound from those two shots, like they were either underpowered or overpowered. Let's finish up this test of the Remington Yellow Jacket ammo with the reactive targets. We're going to do our pop can reactive target just to see what it looks like. Then we're going to do the dog food. This is the small game simulator. We got a tough skin and a meaty interior and then we're gonna finish up with the ballistic modeling clay and I'm gonna shoot that with the rifle and then the pistol to see how it performs
Here's that dog food and pop can, and of course the pop can got totally wrecked by that shot. Pretty awesome. And uh, here's a dog food, and that's our little entrance hole. Just a tiny little thing, but on the back side, it got wrecked real nice. Actually bent the can there. This is uh, quite a lot of damage. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with this ammo on our little small game simulator. Let's go check out the ballistic modeling clay. Okay, here is the Ruger 1022. And there's the buck mark. Neither of these rounds went all the way through. I'm going to open up this clay and see if we can find that bullet and maybe take a look at the wound track. Alright, here's that channel with the buck mark, the pistol, and I don't know if you can see in there. The bullet is right there and expanded, looks like, real well. Not super deep, but a nice little channel, especially out of a handgun. And it's nice to see that expansion out of a handgun length barrel. Let me dig out that bullet. Here's that bullet from the buck mark. And as you can see, it expanded really quite well. Again, you don't usually see such really nice expansion out of a handgun length barrel. So that is pretty cool. Plus mark in my mind for the yellow jacket. There is the channel for our Ruger 1022. And compared to that buck mark, I can see that this one expanded and blew all the way apart into lots of little different pieces. So let me dig that out and we'll look at that bullet. Okay, so out of the Ruger 1022, this yellow jacket ammo blew all the way apart, although the base expanded nicely, held together. Our little hollow point lips though flew all the way apart. That was towards the end of the channel, so it didn't come apart at the initial hit, it definitely uh, held together until the last maybe a couple of millimeters and then it fell apart. So that's that's pretty good performance and that kind of explains why we saw so much damage out of the backside of our small game simulator, the little dog food target, because this probably blew apart right towards the end and uh, ripped the back side of that little can all the way apart. Pretty neat. Final thoughts on the Remington Yellow Jacket ammo. As far as accuracy, it is uh, I'd say good enough for small game within 25 yards. I wouldn't want to go further personally with it, but if you can get your hit within 25, it should do the trick. As far as the speed, definitely a lot lower than the manufacturer's claims. Kind of disappointing, but it happens with a lot of ammo. The standout feature though with this ammo is definitely going to be that bullet performance. Those hollow point rounds really worked well. I mean, expanded out of a pistol, which is really cool and a really nice expansion and the performance against our small game simulator out of the rifle was really quite impressive this ammo is not going to penetrate but when it hits it'll go in about three inches and it looks like it'll just blow up whatever it hits so if you can get it and you like that kind of uh, performance then um, you know it could be a good ammo for you personally I think it's probably more of a gimmick ammo for me nice to have tried but probably not something I'm going to buy on a regular basis. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. We'll see you next time.